at Grenfell, a price on safety. £126,000. The profit made by switching to a cheaper and more dangerous type of cladding. We needed to make a case. Simon Lawrence worked for Ryden, Grenfell's building contractor. The inquiries heard how the company pocketed savings made by changing the panels used on the tower. This is an Today, email. an email from three years before the fire shows the sales push Ryden used Blake. to persuade the council the to accept afternoon. the cheaper cladding. I'm giving it my hardest sale pitch as we speak. Come on, the Essex boy patter. And you were doing that in order to maximise Ryden's own financial position. Uh, that was part of it, and part of it was for the client, but yes. When questioned by the inquiry, Simon Lawrence repeatedly denied any knowledge that the cheaper cladding was more dangerous or more flammable. He either was completely ignorant on fire safety or relied on others to check. 72 people died at Grenfell. The flammable cladding was the main cause of the fire spread. Simon, I'm just writing to get clarification on the fire retardants of the new cladding. I just had a lacknor moment. And then another email, this time addressed to Simon Lawrence from a council worker called Claire Williams. Three years before the tragedy, she asks him for clarification on the fire safety of the cladding. What did you understand Claire Williams to mean by a Lacknell moment? I'd heard that there was a fire at Lacknell some years before, but I didn't know the specific details. So I knew it was relating to fire. You knew it was relating to fire. Did you also know that it was relating to fire in the context of the fire retardants of the new cladding? No. The Lackanall house fire in Camberwell killed six people in 2009. Like Grenfell, flames spread through the outside walls. But Mr Lawrence never replied to the council's concerns and claims their query was just about the lowest floors of the tower rather than the entire building. Mr Lawrence, forgive me for this question, but I feel I do need to ask it. But sitting here now, are you sure that the answers you've been giving me based on this email are not an ex post facto, after the event, rationalisation on your no. part? Did you have any assistance in preparing to give evidence to the inquiry today and in the last few days about what sort of answers you should give in relation to this document? No. Sure about that? Yes. Mr Lawrence will continue his evidence for a fourth day tomorrow. Rex Martel, ITV News at the Grenfell Inquiry.